while around 12,000 U.S. children will reportedly receive untested shots of swine flu vaccine. Critics say the vaccination trial means the children will effectively be turned into guinea pigs. And for more, we can now cross live with Dina Gusovsky, our correspondent in the U.S. capital. Um, Dina, hello there. So how dangerous is this mass vaccination using an untested drug? What do experts in the U.S. say? Well, that's right. We're talking about swine flu once again. Seems to be the hot topic these days. There's a bit of a rush to test a new flu vaccine. Now, like you said, about 12,000 children in Oklahoma are going to be tested with this vaccine to see what the side effects are going to be. And like you said, here in the United States, we call that being a guinea pig. So it's no surprise that many parents across the nation are quite concerned. But experts and researchers say that this is actually going to do more good than harm. They say, look, flu season is rapidly approaching and we need to take all of the necessary precautions. But not everyone feels this way. Joining me today, RT contributor and investigative journalist Wayne Matson. Thank you so much for being here. So what is the problem here? I mean, isn't it good to take precautions? Isn't this a good thing? That's what researchers say. They say we need to test uh, this vaccine to see what the side effects will be and hopefully to save more lives. Well, I think the concern is that the test community uh, are children who really don't have a whole lot uh, to say about what happens uh, uh, with themselves. Um, uh, we know that in the past, uh, vaccines have been administered to children. There's a feeling that because of the vaccines were not well tested, uh, that uh, some, of that vaccination, some of those vaccinations may have led to autism. And there's been several class action suits uh, in that area. So uh, with a new vaccine, it's untested. Uh, a lot of people are saying, why are you using children uh, as young as uh, three years old uh, for this uh, type of testing? They certainly don't know what the situation is, and it's uh, uh, probably not the best uh, uh, test community to use. Now, you actually said that swine flu was man-made, that it was made in the U.S. How do you justify those claims? Well, I, I've been speaking to people in the research community, including people who are working on the vaccine for this particular uh, AH1N1 virus. Uh, even the Centers for Disease Control refer to it as a novel virus. They've never dealt with this before. Uh, I, I've also heard it called the hybrid virus. It contains two forms of uh, swine flu, two forms of human flu, and one form of the very deadly avian flu. Uh, and uh, many people in the research community feel that this could have only been developed by gene splicing, by recombination of DNA. Uh, one of the specimens used was uh, an Inuit woman who died of uh, the great uh, flu pandemic of 1918. Uh, they uh, basically found usable tissue where they uh, recreated uh, the 1918 flu uh, in a laboratory, much, this is much like the movie Jurassic Park where they brought back dinosaurs. Uh, many people say, why w would you want to bring back to life a flu that was so deadly but it, for all intents and purposes was a dead flu? Well, there are even some people in the media who say that there are certain people who are going to benefit from this virus. Isn't that a little bit ridiculous? Well, I think so. We've already seen now, uh, we, uh, initially when we had the outbreak in Mexico, we were to told about the number of people who had contracted this uh, influenza, and now we're being told about the number of people who are dying from it. So we had first reports. So who are they talking about when they say that there's some people who can possibly benefit from, from this virus? Well, the only people who may benefit are, are the vaccine manufacturers, and I think that's where there's some concern. The pharmaceutical The pharmacy, the big pharma. Uh, the, the, there's only about three that uh, are, in, you know, basically have the patent rights on the vaccine, and uh, of of course, they would benefit, and that brings up uh, the, re, uh, you know, the, the question: Who developed this particular form of influenza, and what is the, you know, what's the purpose? Uh, who benefits? Qui bono? But you know, researchers do say that we, we have to do this. You know, the, the flu season is coming up. Hundreds, if not more, people are going to die. Uh, more people than than already had. So, how do you respond to that? Well, the regular flu season is coming up, and uh, there, there is a vaccination uh, for the regular flu, but now we have this other flu, so people are confused, and I think the Centers for Disease Control, is they're not putting out the, the, the correct information. Many people now feel, well, I'm not going to get the uh, vaccine for the regular flu. Well, th that's been proven not to have any problems, but this new vaccine uh, that's being developed and they're going to test it on these children, uh, that's the one that uh, most people are concerned about.
Lawrence, right? And whatever you think about this issue, people are concerned both about swine flu and about people who will choose not to get vaccinated. So something to ponder there. All right, Dina Gusovsky interviewing Wayne, Ma Ma Wayne Madsen, U.S. investigative journalist, live from Washington. Thank you very much indeed to both of you.